Hey guys, so welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial is about advanced counter wizard. Before getting started the tutorial, I want to talk to you about uh, advanced counter. Advanced counter will help you to display the number of data record. As for example, the number of students, number of clients, number of customer, number of visitor. So let's start the tutorial. I go to Elementor dashboard and search advanced counter. Here is advanced counter visit and I'm dragging and dropping the visit. And this is a default design. Now I'm checking the show icon button. And see the number. And see the icon. If you need to change the icon, you can change. Just you have to click on the icon library. I'm selecting swimming icon and inserting. And see icon has been changed. Here is counter start number and counter end number. And you can set here your number. Like I'm increasing the number. There is another option, separator. If you want separator between icon and counter, you can use the separator switcher button. I'm giving another name in counter text. Client. If you need to change the HTML text HTML tag, you have to click on the drop down arrow. From here you can set H12, A6 tag or div span or P. There is important options, icon positions. Icon position is right now in top. If you want to take it left or right, you can take. Just you have to click on left. When I'm clicking left option, there is another options. I come to icon particle alignment. And from here you can set icon top, middle or bottom. If you want to set icon in inline, you can do that. Just you have to check the icon inline button. Okay. If you want to use image instead of icon, you can do that. Just click on the image and choose whatever image you want to use. I'm using this image. I'm selecting and inserting media. Now come to additional layout options. You see there is uh, options of language settings. There you have a chance to set the counter in any language. It can be Bangla, it can be English, it can be Arabic, and so many. Here I have taken some example of language. I am selecting Arabic and copying. Copying and pasting. I see the counter language has been changed. This time I'm using Hindi language. I see this language has also been changed, also have been changed. The decimal symbol controls. In this field, you can use any icon, any digit like comma, slash, but decimal is recommended. 
come to decimal place where you want to show the decimal just you have to define here look when i'm when i'm giving value for see the decimal after decimal the decimal has take place before four digit and you can increase or decrease you can also set a counter durations Okay, now look at the uh, control use grouping. If you use this switcher button, it will help you to make a generate decimal separator automatically, like I'm doing. And see, there is added uh, decimal separator automatically. I'm changing the language. This time the language you are seeing it is Bengali language. Now come to prefix and suffix. If you want to add uh, something before the number or after the number, you can use prefix or suffix field. Say you want to dollar sign before the number, so give the dollar sign in prefix field, and see dollar sign has been added before the number. Similarly, you can add suffix. I mean, you want to add the plus sign. See the plus signs after the number. So there is indicator. The so before explain the workup indicator. You have to work you have to just copy the just duplicate the column and see see, see there is another column now you come to additional options and enable the indicator switcher button and see the separator sorry see the indicator when you will enable the indicator you will find another sections named indicator and from here you can set the width of indicator and see and you can set the offset of indicator horizontally and vertically For styling come to style tab to icon or image sections here you can set a background to, to the image or icon you can set padding border or border radius
I'm setting board radius. If you want to increase the radius, just keep press the up arrow of keyboard. And to reduce, uh, press the down arrow of keyboard. If you want, you can add the border type. It can be solid, double, whatever you want. And there is another option, advanced radius. I'm checking advanced radius button. If you want, you can edit the value. And you will see the change. I come to spacing. Using these controls, you can set space between icon or image with the other content. If you check or enable enable image full width, the image will get full width. Or you can set uh, the size manually. Uh, here you can set uh, you can set to radio rotate value. If you want to add effect to the image, you can do that. Just click on the CSS filter and you will find blur, blur, brightness, contrast, saturation and hue. If you want to define the opacity, you can do that. Just to use the control. I'm setting default want. And you can also set transition durations. Counter number and counter text is quite similar. If you want to add color typography spacing uh, with a counter or counter text you can do that this time come to counter text and set color There is one more important thing. Come to separator. From separator, you can set separator type. And there are so many separator lines. You can choose whatever you want. I'm choosing Bloomstar. And you have to check all of them. Click on the fill color. And the separator will get fill color. If you want to add a stroke color, you can do that. Select this one. See the stroke color with background, with fill color. Go to it. From here, you can control the width of separator. There is another option, so setting spacing of separator. Now look at the indicator, click and there is total 5 style and you see the style 1, I'm choosing style 2, style 3, 4 and 5. There is fill color control, click on the color palette and choose the color. You can also set the stroke color. From additional sections, 
You can add a uh, inner padding of content. I'm giving Palu part five. See, it has taken the padding between whole content. And that's all for advanced counter tutorials. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.